Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So nowadays, we all use AI assistants like ChatGPT while working with public tools. It can be Kubernetes, AWS or even Terraform. But in real time, a lot of times within the organization, we work with internal tools with internal documentation. This is where things get tricky. Because AI assistants like ChatGPT are most of the times blocked within the organization. Obviously, for security reasons, you know, people paste their security keys, people paste their IP addresses and very sensitive information onto these AI assistants. So that's why they are blocked most of the times within the organization. And even if they're enabled, it's not good to use these assistants because they can use your sensitive information for training purpose. So how to deal with this problem? How to use AI assistants or agents for your internal tools with internal documentation? So this is why every organization today needs to build their own AI agents that is secure, compliant and enterprise grade. In today's video, I will show you how to build an enterprise grade AI agent in just few minutes using retool. This video is going to be super interesting because the internal AI agent can go through the documentation and respond back to you just like public AI assistants like ChatGPT. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And also I should thank retool for sponsoring today's video. Before we get started, let's understand what is retool and why retool. So retool is an enterprise grade AI app gen platform that helps you build agents, applications, and even workflows for your organization. Now you might have a question, Abhishek, there are a lot of AI builders out there. Definitely. Yes, there are a lot of AI builders, but most of them are focused on proof of concepts or demo projects. On the contrary, retool is built for enterprises. So if you're an enterprise, if you are interested in building AI agents or applications, according to your standards, compliance and security, retool is what you're looking for. And the best part is that retool allows you to bring your own data and build the applications or agents on top of your data. And because you can onboard your organization to retool, you can also enable RBAC so that you can define access to specific users on the applications as well as the data. And as promised earlier, in this video, I will show you how to set up an AI agent for internal documentation that too in absolutely no time. But for that, you need to set up an account with retool. I'll share the link in the description as well as the pinned comment. Just click on the link and get started with retool. Once you are here, click on the agents tab. You can see here, I have bunch of agents already. I have been using retool for the last two months and I have some of these agents running from last one month, like the Kubernetes security expert agent, redemption agent for Aqua, Ninja agent, even the Terraform agent. Going back, just click on plus button and get started with creating your agent. Retool also provides some templates. If your requirement is fairly simple, like you want to set up a meeting preparation agent or a scheduling agent, you can use these templates. Otherwise, for requirements like creating agent for documentation or complex requirements, you can click on start from scratch. Just provide the name of the agent. In this case, I'll call this as documentation agent one. I'll skip the description for now and click on the create button. There you go. So we have the agent page for us. We have to configure this agent with triggers, instructions and choose the model for the agent. The default trigger is the chat. Just like how you can use AI builders today with the chat experience. In the same way, 
once you have your agent configured completely you can go to the chat section and interact with the agent using the chat experience but the best part for me retool also allows you to invoke your agent or trigger the agent using the email now this is best if you are dealing with ci cd or automation so that in the last stage in case you run into any issues with your ci cd pipeline you can invoke this agent and ask the agent to verify what exactly is the issue or to let you know what is the issue so for that you can use the email trigger and then you have to provide some instructions to the agent what exactly the agent has to do again if you are confused how to write these instructions don't worry they have a configuration assistant you can just provide information like you know, i want to create a chat bot that takes input from the users and returns the output i mean fairly simple requirement right now once i provide this information to the configuration assistant it will modify the instruction and update the instructions tab in a way that agent can understand so it says you are a helpful chatbot assistant take the input from the user it can be a question or a message and return clear accurate and friendly response of course i'll modify the instruction in some time but just to show you it is very easy to get started with retool and then you can also choose the model best part is that retool is not opinionated about the model which most of the ai builders are in this case with retool you can choose model according to your organization standards you can go with gpt models from open ai you can go with anthropic models or you can also choose popular open source model like deep seek or llama for this requirement i will go with gpt5 mini now once the model is also choosed right we are trying to build an ai agent for documentation so we should provide the document to the agent or we should provide documentation to the model how do we do that usually this is a challenge but again when it comes to retool because it's an enterprise platform you can just head to the resources tab right and here you can go with retool vectors so within the retool vector you can just create a new vector and you can upload your document basically if you are new to llms vector is a way where you can store unstructured data in a format that makes it accessible to the large language models so i'll start with creating the vector i'll just call it as maybe uh, advanced or let me just call it as demo okay i'll keep the name of the vector as demo and here click on the create button and upload the document but which document shall we upload basically for the purpose of demo i have created uh, a document a dummy document for internal observability platform so this is the one that i created again you know i just made up this uh, observability platform i called it as superability observability platform and here are the steps overview of the platform architecture installation steps and also comparison with popular observability platforms so i have all of that in the documentation let's assume this is your internal platform and this is the documentation click on add document upload file there you go so the document is uploaded you can upload more documents as well imagine you have multiple documents for your platform you can also upload multiple documents and ai agent will take care of all of those documents perfect so now let's go back to the agent so the one that we were using was documentation agent 1 go back to the configuration section now that we added documentation to the 
resources we can use the tool here so what is tools tools is a way to enhance the performance of this agent for example i will add a new tool and here i can use the code tools like creating a calendar event so the agent can create an event for you once it is executed or agent can also update google docs with activities that it performed in my case i will use the retool vector this one here add the tool and i will provide this vector with name of the vector and name of my document the one that we just created let me open it in the other tab demo perfect so here i will edit the vector convert it to custom tool and i will edit the function to provide name of the vector so what is the name of the vector it is demo and we will also provide the example value so in this case the document name is superability documentation dot pdf great so we can test if it is working test the function if you see the output like this that means the vector is fetched by the agent and it is configured absolutely fine so click on the done button and okay i have to update the name so i'll just call it as retrieve function okay or retrieve tool click on the save button there you go we have also updated the retool tool as uh, a tool for this ai agent so this will read the documentation or llm will use the documentation from this retrieve tool finally i will provide the configuration assistant with one more instruction that is to instruct my agent to use this tool as the default option so i'll just say use demo as default name for the vector okay and i will say use what is the name of the document so this is the name of the document use this as the default document underscore name perfect now this will again update the instructions of the agent that's all now we are good to go so we will go to the chat section and let's see by asking this ai agent what is superability in general if you are going with chat gpt or any other ai assistants on the internet they should say i am not really sure what is superability because this is internal to your organization let's see what happens with retool okay so it initiated the documentation agent 1 it started thinking with gpt5 o mini model so what does it say user asked what is superability and i should check with the available tools because it could not find anything like that it saw the vector option and it started using the tool called retrieve tool from there it picked the vector name as deep demo and document name as superability documentation full dot pdf which we told is the default option you know if we don't provide the default option it will start looking for other vectors as well because we have multiple vectors i provided this name great now let's see what is the output so it clearly explains superability is a unified observability platform designed to real time visibility into application performance where did it get this information from from our document now let me ask it a little complex question what is the difference between or how superability is better than prometheus something which is only available in the documentation and only users within your organization would know there you go again it started thinking uh, if i am right it would use the retrieve tool that we configured and it will fetch the answer from the documentation now here it not only fetch the information from the documentation but 
because this is a generative AI agent, it will also start thinking and provide you an appropriate answer. Again, it started using the retrieve tool and okay, it identified the documentation and now it will return the response back to us. How Superbility is better than Prometheus. Superbility again is a unified observability platform and it said it is better than Prometheus because the scope of Prometheus is only for purpose-built metrics collection. Whereas Superbility supports metrics, traces and logs natively and correlates them into the UI. This is something that I made up in the documentation and it read the documentation and written the response back to us. Perfect. So this is how you can create an AI agent for internal documentation in few minutes. Now let's quickly look at the advantages that we got. First one, for me, the most important one is the email trigger. As I told you, just enable the email trigger here, get the email address and configure this email address in your CI CD automation so that you can invoke the AI agent from your automation. Another advantage is, you know, retool is not very opinionated about the model. You can choose the model according to your organization standard. And just like trigger, you can also use custom tools. For example, post the execution. If you want to write the execution into a document or you want to maybe schedule an event after the execution, you can do that using the tools section. And most importantly, retool is an enterprise platform. So here you can basically configure SSO for your organization. You don't even have to onboard your users manually. You can integrate the SSO. They support Okta, Auto. They even support one login. So using this, you can have all of your users on retool and all of them can use AI agents securely in a compliant way designed according to your organization. I hope you found today's lecture informative. I would highly recommend everyone to get started with Retool. It's fairly simple. Use the link in the description, create an account with Retool and start with building your enterprise grade AI agent, especially for the internal documentation because every organization needs it. See you all in the next lecture. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.